When I think of a solo, I kind of think of it kind of like building a house. You know, I try to, you know, you don't build it from the roof down. You know, you don't start out with everything you got and lay all your dishes out and all that stuff. You try to you try to start somewhere and make it build, make it dynamically. It's it's all dramatics. And the most incredible of all of that was a drummer by the name of Sonny Payne that played with Count Basie years ago. And Sonny could take you from the ultimate height and power down to nothing. And he'd take the whole orchestra with him, you know. And to me, that's the point of doing a solo. Chops. How much can you play? And uh, it, it's, you know, I mean, that's part of it because it's all rudimental. You know, people say, well, you know, I don't know anything about rudiments. Well, you can't hit a drum without knowing at least half a rudiment. know how to build things and and you've been to movies you've seen Disney movies and you've seen movies that make you cry and movies that make you laugh and movies that just just take all those inner feelings that you have and and that's really what a drum solo is It takes a lot of concentration, almost trance, almost self-hypnosis, to pull it off. And that's really, it's a self-indulgence. <laughs>